And if it is, then I understand. And I would hope so. I would hope so. You we know, always want we, peace. Everywhere. We always want to look for the best in situations without necessarily understanding or knowing what's going on. Yeah. So our first introduction to anything without knowing a, what's going on is going to have to be positive. We ain't we never going to just positive. assume that anything else of the negativity. You know what I'm saying? So. What's good, good y'all? It's the Duma Shats React, and, and we're back, back with another video. video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American reaction. Mm -hmm. Super excited about this video, guys. If you're new to us and, and we're new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 100K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's go. Welcome to Displore and thanks for watching. It's always a pleasure presenting to you some fascinating facts about the beautiful countries on the African continent. In this video, we are taking you to the country of Eritrea and we are bringing you some lesser known facts about this small African country. Officially referred to as the state of Eritrea, Eritrea is a country in Northeast Africa, precisely on the Horn of Africa. Eritrea means red and it got its name from the Red Sea. It is bordered by Sudan to the west, Ethiopia to the south, and Djibouti to the southeast with some portion of the country stretching into the Red Sea. The nation has a total surface area of about 117,600 square kilometers and a population of about 5 million people. Eritrea was formerly an Italian colony but was colonized by Ethiopia after the Second World War and got its independence on May 24, 1991 after a tussle with Ethiopia. Eritrea is a country with rich history and an old civilization dating back to several thousand years ago. The capital city of Eritrea is Asmara and the current president of the country is Isaias Afwerki. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Eritrea got its independence from Ethiopia in 1991. And with that said, here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Eritrea. Number 1. Eritrea has the second highest archaeological historical discoveries in Africa after Egypt. Eritrea is an ancient civilization dating back to thousands of years ago. It is a land that had been inhabited by early humans for long. It has one of the ancient human habitats, evidenced by the high number of archaeological sites that reach almost 80,000. These numerous archaeological sites are proof of early human habitation. Wow. It is considered the world's archaeological Eden. Number 2. Eritrea has only had one president since its independence in 1991. Since Eritrea gained independence from Ethiopia, there's hardly been elections despite the first one having been scheduled in 1997 after the adoption of the constitution that declared Eritrea as a multi-party democracy. The current president of Eritrea is Isaiah Safwerki, a position he's been occupying since the independence of the country in 1991. War with Ethiopia was used as justification for postponing the first scheduled elections. Afterwards, there have been mountains of excuses not to hold another one to date. Number three, Eritrea. Yeah, that's because he's holding it down. That's what's up that you guys want to continue to keep him. Big facts. Eritrea has a culture of coffee I don't celebration. Know about that. One of the most. Oh, you don't know about that? What you hear about Eritrea? Eritrea. Yeah, Eritrea. I don't know. Y'all let us know. We we haven't been keeping up with. So let us know. I'm going off of facts. That's what, for me facts, because it's what I'm first time Cause hearing. Because he been in there that Since long. Since 1991. That's your childhood. Yeah. That's, I'm not going to say how old I am. But, uh. Y'all let us know. Yeah, man, that's. I mean, it could kind of be like Rwanda. You know, everything is in order. I mean, if it's, and if it is, then I understand. And I will hope so. I would hope so. You we know, always we, want peace. Everywhere. We always want to look for the best in situations without necessarily understanding or knowing what's going on. Yeah. So our first introduction to anything without knowing a, what's going on is going to have to be positive. We ain't we never going to just positive. assume that anything else of the negativity. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. We hope it's positive. If it's <laughs> not, don't get on us, all right? Right. We hope it's positive. But y'all know how it Let is. Let us know.
part of Eritrean culture is the coffee oh, ceremony. The coffee. During the coffee ceremony, there are traditions that are upheld. The coffee is served in three rounds. <clears throat> the first round is called Awel in Tigrinya, meaning first. The second round is called Kalei, meaning second. And the third round is called Bereka, meaning to be blessed. Number, Number four. four. The, the national food of Eritrea is injera. A typical traditional Eritrean dish consists of injera accompanied by a spicy stew, which frequently includes beef, chicken, lamb or fish. The overall Eritrean cuisine strongly resembles those of neighboring Ethiopia. Though Eritrean cooking tends to feature more seafood than Ethiopian cuisine on account of their coastal location. Eritrean dishes are also frequently lighter in texture than Ethiopian meals. But, but they, they likewise tend to employ less seasoned butter and spices and more tomatoes as in the Tebidoro delicacy. There are several very popular dishes in Eritrea but the national food of the country is injera. Number 5. Eritrea has the 10th strongest currency in Africa. Though Eritrea is one of the youngest countries in Africa having gained independence in 1991, the country has one of the strongest currencies in Africa. To better understand the strength of the Eritrean currency called NECFA, let's put it against one of the most popular currencies in the world, American dollar. Oh. One US dollar is equivalent to 15 Eritrean NECFAs, which is relatively good compared to most African countries. The Eritrean NECFA is currently ranked as the 10th strongest currency in Africa. Number 6. Eritrea does not have an official language. Eritrea is a multilingual country. The nation has no official language as the constitution establishes the equality of all Eritrean languages. Tigrinya serves as the de facto language of national identity with about 2,540,000 total speakers of a population of about 5,254,000 in 2006. It is the most widely spoken language, particularly in the southern and central parts of Eritrea. Other major national languages include Afa, Arabic, Beja, Bilen, Kunama, Nara, Saho and Tigre. Tigrinya and English serve as de facto working languages with the latter used in university education and many technical fields. Number 7. Football and cycling are the most popular sports in Eritrea. Like when it that. comes to football, Eritrea is less popular in that domain. Football and cycling are the most popular sports in Eritrea. In recent years, Eritrean athletes have also seen increasing success in the international scene. Zesene Tadese, an Eritrean athlete, formerly held the world record in the half marathon. Nice. The Eritrean national cycling team has experienced a lot of success, winning the Continental Cycling Championship several years in a row. The Eritrean national cycling team of both men and women are ranked first on the continent. In 2013, the women's team won the gold medal in the African Continental Championship for the first time. Six Eritrean riders have been signed to international cycling teams. When it comes to football, Eritrea has never won the African Nations Cup, neither has it ever participated in the World Cup. Number 8. Agriculture is the main economic activity in Eritrea. That's right. Just like most African countries, the main economic activity in Eritrea is agriculture. About 80% of the Eritrean workforce are employed in agriculture. Ooh. Eritrea's main agricultural products include sorghum, millet, barley, wheat, legumes, vegetables, and fruit. See, these are the best people to learn how to farm from. Oh, 100%. You know, like 80% yeah. of the population, that's a huge part, you know? Yeah, and I think farming is just a... a um it's a, it's a tool you need to know. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just not about knowing when times is going to have us change. Right. It's just having that understanding with nature itself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think farming is like a that's the go to thing. We grew we grew some plants before. So yeah. My fry, girl fry. was just saying you need to learn how to grow your own food so you never have to depend on getting your food in case something happens. Mm, you know. That's fine. I'm so ready. That's fine though. Stay that's real talk. <laughs> yeah, it's real talk. The economy of Eritrea has experienced considerable growth in recent years, indicated by an improvement in GDP in October 2012 of 7.5 over 2011. A big reason for the recent growth of the Eritrean economy is the commencement of full operations in the gold and silver bishop mine and the production of cement from the cement factory in Masawa. The GDP of Eritrea currently stands at $7.7 .7 billion. Number 9. About 17% of the 14,000 species of fish in Eritrea can be found nowhere else in the world. Wow. 
Wow. Having a long Red Sea coastline with warm waters, Eritrea is an attraction zone for rare species of fish. The bulk of Eritrea's fishing zones still hold unexploited mm. potential. Oh. Fishing <laughs> remains a great sporting activity, especially one. for tourists. You only need to hire a fishing boat and enjoy your activity as you enjoy Eritrea's scenic Red Sea coastline. The most common endemic marine fish include deepwater dragonet, gobius fish, snailfish, tilefish, and stargazer fish. Amongst the more than 14,000 species of fish in Eritrea, about 17% are extremely rare species that cannot be found anywhere else in the world. Number 10. Eritrean women joined the men to fight for the independence of Eritrea. The role of Eritrean women in the struggle for independence has been long. Eritrean women picked up arms to help their counterparts fight off the Italians and later the Ethiopians. This is mainly due to the fact that the Eritrean population is small and yet has been engaged in so many wars where hundreds of thousands of men lose their lives. There you have it, Desplorers. Those were some of the lesser known facts about Eritrea you probably didn't know. As a compensation for sticking till the end of this video, here's an extra bonus fact. Number 11. Mm -hmm. The Dalak group of islands in Eritrea is well renowned for their pearl production and is largely uninhabited. Pearl is treasured in the traditional African society. It was used as a measure of value and a medium of exchange before modern forms of money came in. The Dalak group has kept the tradition of pearl production, though it is no longer used as a medium of exchange. The Dalak archipelago has great tourist attractions. It is a great place to go scuba diving, pearl fishing and yacht cruising. On the uninhabited side of the islands, you'll find plenty of mangrove trees and salt bushes. There is also a large population of nested birds, coral reefs and submerged shoals. Plenty of spectacular marine wildlife also exist. These include sharks, hermits, crabs, dolphins, dugons, shellfish and turtles amongst many other varieties of marine species. We hope you learned a thing or two from this video. If you know some interesting facts about Eritrea that have... We learned quite a bit. Yeah. Some yeah. things I didn't know. Nah, for real. You know me. I love uh, seafood, as my wife do too. Yes. So having you guys with the most unique fish in the world only on that location, tell me, um, how's y'all menu? <laughs> because if, if that's the thing, what is y'all actually cooking with these fish? If y'all cooking, because I know they look very exotic. Yeah. They do. They look very exotic, very unique. Yeah. Um, some people throw them back depending upon, you know, the, yeah. the how much is living at the time. But Yeah. Um, a different menu every day. I mean could a be. A different fish every day. Could be. I like it. You saw that crab walking. That little crab? Yeah. What are we gonna do with that little crab? Spice it up. That little crab. Yeah. I need a bigger crab. Some water. I ain't bigger crab than that. <laughs> nah, it's not bad though. Yeah, well this is a cool video. She always puts together some great facts about these countries so we do appreciate you guys sitting in her videos and Big we do facts. appreciate her for making her videos mm -hmm. all right so go check her out we hope you guys enjoyed this video with us like this video subscribe turn on the post notification bell we have enabled our super, super thanks if you like support the channel that way as well as our reaction request form is in our description, description box, box below. below we'll see you soon peace